I'm like trying to eat at the same time. <laughs> My name is Sophia, I'm from Sweden. My name is Sarah, I'm from Germany. And today we're going to be answering questions about life in Korea. Why did you choose Busan City as your study destination? I chose Busan as my study destination because I came here before for traveling and I was in Seoul and in Busan and I also went to Gwangju. Mm -hmm. But um, I came here to compare like what is the perfect study atmosphere and since I grew up in close to the beach, I've always had this nostalgia when I see the beach and it makes me feel comfortable and at home. And since Busan is filled with beautiful beaches, I decided to come here. I actually went to Busan as an exchange student mm -hmm. when I was in high school. So back then I was in a Korean high school. Uh -huh. And at that time I couldn't choose my destination, they just placed me in Busan. Mm. So I didn't know anything about it. but. Uh, I really fell in love with the city when I lived here and uh, I wanted to come back here to like study at university. I went to Sajik Yotekonakyo. I studied there for a year and I had to wear like a school uniform. I didn't understand in Korean at the time, so I just sat there during the lessons and I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, outside of that, we had Korean lessons and we got like cultural events. We, we could go to different cities in Korea and we got to learn like taekwondo and like oh, K-pop nice. dance and stuff like that. So I think it was like the best year of my life because oh. I learned so much about myself and about the world and different cultures. That is awesome. It was really cool. Actually, I found I was um, looking for an English track, like classes uh, giving everything in English, mm -hmm. and I uh, I found a few universities, and Kyungsoo University was one of them. It was closest to my expectations, and uh, it really attracted me. And that's the main reason why I wanted to come here. So everything was conducted in English. Yeah, but it was similar for me. Mm -hmm. um, I already knew about Kyungsoo University because they lived in Busan. Um, but apart from that, it was also mainly because they had English track mm -hmm. and um, they had something I actually wanted to study, tourism and hospitality. Yeah. So for me, I felt like it was the perfect university. I researched online mainly because I, I was never here. I couldn't, I couldn't like personally come to the university. So I had to research online everything and I came across um, a website which is Study in Korea. Oh yeah. Yeah, and that's how I also found Kyungsoo University along with the other mm -hmm. universities. In my case, the first time I came here, it was only traveling. I was with uh, a guide and they made a tour along South Korea. The first thing I noticed was there's no trash cans anywhere. <laughs> That was a cultural shock because in, back in Europe, you could find a trash can Everywhere. every every 50 meters, mm -hmm. right? Also, um, I've never been used to being stared at that much. Of course, we have like a different skin color and we look totally different from the people who live here. It did take me a bit aback because I was always stared at when I came here. But uh, since I have been living here, I've gotten really used to it. Like, it doesn't really bother me anymore. I agree with the staring. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of invasive. <laughs> I think because I the first time I went to Korea, it was 2013. Mm -hmm. It's quite a long time ago. Yeah. So I think a lot of things have changed since then. Like the first thing I think about is pet culture. Back then, a lot of people were kind of scared of dogs. A lot of people didn't have dogs. They were scared of them. If they have dogs, it was like the small white ones. But nowadays I see people having like corgis and yeah. like golden retrievers and like bigger dogs. So that made me happy. It's like a good improvement. Right. Also, um, a lot of people these days have tattoos mm. and piercings. That was not something I saw like six years ago when I was here. Yeah, um, they open up to yeah, a lot. Western kind of cultures. Mm. <laughs> good question. I currently have a Korean boyfriend, but it took me a long time to find someone that I was compatible with. Mm. Met some people in the past that I feel like there was a lot of cultural differences. And sometimes, not every Korean guy obviously, but some of them don't really like you for you. They kind of like you because you're a foreigner. I think all of my foreign girlfriends here have had some kind of issue with a guy who's only with them because he likes foreigners. Generally, I think Korean guys are very like, they have a lot of like good manners and um, they can be very kind and nice. But um, I think you have to be a little careful with meeting people here and especially where you meet them. Um, I would say don't meet people at the club or <laughs> when you're outside. Maybe try to meet them through friends or so getting or something like that. Yeah, I mean, I 
have never had a boyfriend <laughs> or um, yes but I've seen like Korean men are very attractive like you see a lot of handsome men and it's nice to see but I don't really know yet like the dating culture mm. I've heard like that Korean couples are always like 24 7 talking to each other and I feel like that is pretty different from the dating culture in Europe. Mm -hmm. You're independent and you don't always have to tell your boyfriend or your girlfriend where you're staying at and who you're with. What you're doing, exactly. what you're eating, when you're sleeping. Yeah, <laughs> like every detail of your life. I think that's a little bit too much. But um, I guess that would be a challenge if I get a boyfriend here. <laughs> I think it helps to find someone who has been abroad someone who knows a little about other cultures as well mm -hmm. and you can kind of like meet in the middle. Um, my favorite thing about Korea is most definitely the food. I was scared at the beginning that it might be too spicy but my stomach took it pretty well. The spiciness is different from um, for example Mexican spice. Yeah it's a totally different Yeah, type. It stays on your throat yeah. well. Um, in Korea, it just stays a little bit on the, in the mouth and it fades away. I agree, like food. Um, I love cafes. Mm -hmm. Like, if that could be my job, like just go into cafes and like reviewing the atmosphere and like yeah. the coffee. In Korea has so many cute, like interesting cafes mm -hmm. and they're everywhere. In Sweden, um, we don't have that many cafes. It's mostly like chains yeah. or maybe like in my city, I think we have maybe five and it's like a decent sized city. Mm -hmm. I just love it. It yeah, or like cafes happy. with animals. Oh yeah. With cats, for example. Mm -hmm. Cat cafe. So, yeah, I think cafes. And obviously I love the beach, especially Kongali mm -hmm. Beach. So I don't think I could live in Seoul. I lived in Daegu before and I mm -hmm. really, really miss the beach. And people can be like outside, like sitting and drinking with their friends, which is also not allowed in Sweden. We can't drink outside. And additionally, like you feel safe. Like when I was in Germany, I was always scared when the, when the sun went down. And since I've been in Korea, I lost the notion of time, like I don't think about being alone in the streets, I feel so secure. The least favorite thing is when I sometimes see people like spitting in the streets. You hear it? Like yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> from where I come from, doing that is very rude. Mm. I get grossed out when people like do that sound and mm. then they spit. There's a lot of spitting happening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, what is your favorite food? Um, honestly, I can't decide because there's so many varieties of good things. If I had to decide, like something I could eat every day would be tonkas or hot dog, the the curry <laughs> pancakes. Eat that every day. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. <laughs> Kimchi jjigae or um, dejigukbap. I love soup, so Korea is good for me because you can eat all kinds of soup, like right. milmyeon, Korean barbecue. Yeah, of course. Samgyeopsal, that mm -hmm. is. That is delicious. It's so good. Yeah. Everything is so good. Like bibimbap and is cheap. really good. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. So cheap. So that's it. I hope all your questions are answered. We hope to see you next time and we hope you learned something from this. I hope you visit Korea. Yeah. Bye. Bye.